So here I am going to put eight extra rows um, because there's eight colors. So there's going to be a total of about nine, but eight spaces for all the colors. If your palette happens to have more, then you're going to have to accommodate for the extra colors that you might have. Here I split a that one column because I'm going to label them and I want to be able to read it without painting over it. So I'm putting all the colors in the row. Red, yellow, orange, green, blue, violet, brown, and black. And then I'm going to do the same thing across for another row. So here I made a total of eight separate columns and then I erased those extra lines there and there I go. Red, yellow, same order, green, uh, orange, green, blue, violet, brown and black. All right, so with that first red, it's going to be mostly color. The second part that I'm doing right now is going to be a mid wash. So not too light, not too dark. Um, make sure that this one is like more red, more color than water. So you can see the different ranges of red as they dry. This next one, which is going to end up going diagonal, is going to be the lightest wash. And that's going to be how all the colors are going to show. You're going to have a, a mid-grade, a light wash, and then one that's very heavy with color. And that's what you're going to see me doing now with all the colors.
So with this mix, we are going to start with the red row, and it's going to be more of the red color than the second color that we're mixing it with because eventually these colors are going to mix again when we come down the row but we're going to do whatever the first color is so red is going to take over a little bit more in the mixture so with that red orange there's more red than i'm actually putting orange for the green i'm putting more red than i am putting green because in the end, if you put more of one of the colors, when they dry, they do look different. So with this blue, I'm making, it's mostly red and I'm just adding a touch of blue. When these colors come in contact again, when we go down the rows, um, we'll do the opposite. So if when we're getting to the blues or all the other colors, we're gonna put more of the blue and less of the red to see how the colors interact and how they dry differently. So here my intention was to go ahead and do all the yellows, but I end up doing um, that column down instead of just working on the yellows, which is fine and you can do that. There's just more cleaning involved, but it's probably much easier to go row by row versus column by column. And you see here that I'm taking the color on the row, like that blue is going to be more dominant than the color I'm mixing it with, which is that red. So the purple is going to be more than I'm adding the red. And you'll see once they dry that they're going to look different than the other mixture that I did previously. You're gonna see that eventually your palette will get a little dirty, so always just make sure that you are wiping it off or cleaning your brush, because if the brush is already contaminated with another color, this will affect your, your, your mixing guide. All right, so I'm gonna just keep going column by column and whichever is the first color, that's the one that's gonna have the most dominant. And then here I decide that I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish this yellow. I end up 
going trying to go across and then I end up going down the column the only thing that matters is that whatever color is first that you have that more dominant that way you can see the different ranges of mixtures as you finish the mixing chart.
So as we're approaching the last uh, column, um, once it all dries, you're going to see your mixing chart and see a total of at least 80 different colors. And you made all those colors with just a simple eight count um, watercolor set. So the possibilities are endless when it comes to this, um, having this set. You can do so many ranges of colors, color schemes. I hope you enjoyed this watercolor mixing chart. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you.